So this is Mr. Bust. I'm going to walk you through how to run the Leafs to Model Lab. So here's the equipment in the Leafs, a microscope, uh, also a source of leaf. So here I've got in the room, right now I've got a ficus, and I've also got a succulent. Uh, it's kind of a funny name, it's actually called um, Flaming Katie. You'll need some clear or transparent nail polish, a few slides. You won't need cover slips, just slides scissors, and clear tape. All right, so let's prepare the slides with the leaf stomata. So uh, I'm going to just remove a leaf. From the succulent. And I'll remove the leaf from the ficus plant. Okay, so I'll take the succulent plant first, grab the nail polish. And what I want to do is paint a really thin layer, avoiding the veins. There aren't a lot of veins on the succulent, so I'm just going to paint it along one side here. Making sure that it's not a very thick layer. And then I'll do the same thing with the ficus. Just painting a thin layer along the edge or along one side of it. And I'm using the underside of this one too. Now this will only work if the nail polish dries and so Depending on the conditions, if it's humid or not in the room, that kind of thing, you might have to wait a while. I'm going to say let's just go five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. The nail polish is definitely dry. I've uh, got a few pieces of clear tape. I'm just being very careful not to get fingerprints on the parts that I'm going to press onto the leaf. So I've got the middle part of the tape I haven't touched. Just be very aware of that. So you don't, uh, fingerprints are going to be your enemy here. So I'll do the Succulent first. Okay, press down the tape onto the part that you made an impression of. And you can remove the tape, and that's the uh, impression. I didn't remove the cells really what I did is remove what's called like the waxy cuticle or an impression of the cells um, so I want to put that on a slide so try to make sure your slide is also clean of fingerprints and dirt because it'll just make it harder to see things press the slide sticky side onto the glass if you got some excess tape you can trim that off Okay, there's one slide. Another piece of clear tape. The other plant leaf, this one's gonna be kinda harder, it's kinda got a curve to it. Again, try not to touch the nail polish and get your fingerprints on it. It can be kinda difficult not to do that, but especially with the ficus plant because it kinda curves. Try to Remove any air bubbles. This is very sticky tape, so this ought to work pretty good. Yep. Same thing, I've got the impression there. Sticky side down on the slide. Get air bubbles off of it as best as you can. Stuck to the table now. Remove the excess. Okay, so now here's my ficus leaf impression and my succulent leaf impression. And I'm going to check those out under the microscope. All right, so here I've got the um, succulent under 100 times magnification. I had started under 40x and um, didn't feel like I needed to zoom in on any particular uh, stomata or stoma. They're definitely 
Uh, in the field of view, there's definitely about, I don't know, five or 10 of them. I'll switch to high power. All right, I'm gonna end up having to turn the light up a little bit. There's one up in the upper left there. I had it originally at one, which is the lowest light setting. All right, so let me just bring that one from the upper left over. Yep, lost it. There it is. So you can see the guard cells, you can see the pore, the opening pretty well. Probably look a little nicer without having to look under the uh, iPad camera under the microscope. So some different things you could do is you could uh, see if any of them are open or if they're all closed. Um, this one appears to be closed. Uh, you could get maybe a count to see how many there are um, on the underside of the leaf versus the top of the leaf or compare and contrast two different leaves in terms of the, the number of stoma or stomata.